Understanding what well-formed validex HTML is, is really the last thing that I want to talk about. Now, um, it, this is really about making sure that your markup is precise and error-free, and that it uses a document type definition um, or a DOM, document object model, to define the type of document that you're using. So if we take a look at um, some basic code, here's where we've changed the very top, it used to say just HTML, and we've changed this to a document type, a DDT, which says that we're going to be using a strict XHTML document. Now, this particular document has rules of the way that it's coded. So here's some of the basic rules of using web standards markup. The very, fir very first thing is that um, all markup has to use lowercase only. That means that we can't use some of the uppercase like we see down here, where div or paragraph are in uppercase tags. All tags also must be closed. You'll notice um, these tags such as div has a corresponding closing tag such as slash div and then paragraph slash paragraph. Now there are other tags such as HR which is horizontal rule that's a, ta a single tag and you can actually open it and close it all within one tag. We open it with the caret HR then we have a space a slash and then we end the caret which opens and closes the tag all within one um, very brief tag. Um, we also are not allowed to have deprecated tags. Deprecated tags are things like font tag that we used to use before, but it also goes into things like using strong instead of bold. Bold is the old deprecated tag, and strong is the new um, web standards tag. And bold, if you think about the word, it really means something that's visual, where they're really trying to make things more semantic and not make them rely upon a visual um, understanding. And so strong makes more sense because you can read strong text or you could see strong text, but you can't hear bold text. So it means that it's more semantic for people who are visual and non-visual. That's my, why they might have used that that um, code. Um, we also have some things like emphasis versus italic and some other things as well that are deprecated. Well-formed markup um, includes all of the above stuff but it also talks about properly nesting things. Properly, properly nesting tags means something like this. Here you have a div tag and a paragraph inside of it. That paragraph needs to be ended before you end the division. Makes sense. It's, think about you know having a plastic bag. If you put something inside the plastic bag, you um, it's inside of it, and so you close the plastic bag around it on the outside. Um, that same logic can be applied to coding. So um, if you take a div tag here and you put a paragraph inside of it, then it wouldn't make sense to close the division before you close the paragraph. So that would be not well formed markup. Now. Um, in order to check all of this, to make sure that all of these rules are adhered to, we have to validate the, the um, code as well. And that's according to the document type definition, or the DOM, document object model, that we specified in our document. So um, we can actually specify these things on the website, which is the validator w3.org, which is markup validation service, and we can input our, our um, code by URL, or we can put direct input where we just type in the code, or, or rather copy and paste it in, and it will check it to make sure it's valid. Now, having valid XHTML code doesn't mean that, or adhering to all these rules doesn't mean that you can't have beautiful design, because that beautiful design is in the CSS file, the cascading style sheets. And this is a famous website called CSS Zen Garden, which shows you how an understanding of CSS and how images and, and design can be really, you know, quite flexible and amazing when you're able to practice it after a while. And of course CSS takes a long time of practice to get really really good at. But it all starts off with very clean valid code and all of these pages use the exact same code in the background. And then all they've done is change the CSS file to create these incredible um, different looks. So you can find out more about CSS um, of course online and we'll be talking about it later but if you have any questions do email um, your instructor and thanks for listening to the introduction to web standards and the interweb.